Queens. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. This is going to be your December 2021 general reading, and I have a few quick announcements I want to go over with you. Some really great stuff, just real quick before we get into the reading. All right, if you don't care about any announcements, feel free to scroll on to the rest of the video. But for those of you who do, let me let you know that. Um, most of you know, I do have a second channel, Lucky Seven Sages, right? And um, I'm trying to build that channel up. And so this month, as a thank you to all of you, and hopefully an incentive to subscribe to that channel, um, I will be doing the extended version of this reading. And I'm going to make it available to all of you. So if this reading resonates with you, the extended version of this reading will be available on that channel. And I will put the link in the description box below. I hope that you will consider subscribing, like the video, share it with your friends, that kind of thing. All right. Also, there is a huge sale going on on my website for the holidays um, through the month of December for personal readings for cardiology reports, for my jewelry line that I have. Um, tarot decks are on sale. So go ahead and check that out if you are interested as well. That link will also be in the description box below. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already familiar with my channel, um, welcome back. All right. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. Hi, Virgo. This is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot. And I apologize in advance. Okay. So first of all, I apologize for how I look. All right. Give me a break. It's been a long morning. I have had three hours of sleep and I've been up taking my kid to school, grocery shopping, doing all of those great things. But here's the, the second part that I apologize for. I apologize because I actually did your reading. I did it. And somehow it got erased. So I thought it was uploaded and I deleted it on, you know, it got erased, whatever. So I'm redoing your readings. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. Remember, this is still general. Not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, check your moon and your rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading with me. My website is lucky 7 I'll place the link in the description box below along with the link to the extended version of this reading on my second channel. Go ahead and subscribe. If you're not already done, haven't already done that, make sure you like this video. All right, let's see. We're going to do a past, present, future spread for you. I'm going to clarify the cards. Get some extra messages, pull some advice for you. You did have um, a jumping card in the advice during the pre-shuffle. So we'll go over that um, and see what's happening. All right. For from now until your next reading with me. All right. Virgo. We're doing, let's see. Tell me what is going on with Virgo in the recent past. Present moment. One of my subscribers actually is the person who let me know that I, you know, that the Virgo reading is not, was not up. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. When I went to go look for it, I was like super surprised. Okay. Near future. I'll show you these cards in just a second. Okay. Let me see what is challenging you. Tell me what the challenge is and what Virgo doesn't see coming from now until the end of December. Your challenge is the two of swords. All right. I also want to let you know, I am going to do you guys first because of this. All right. So the next readings that I do for the set of Zodiac signs, I'm going to do Virgo. Virgo will be number one. All right. Um, so your challenge is the two of swords. Okay. Um, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the three of cups, you've got the four of pentacles, nine of swords in reverse, seven of cups reversed. All right. 
your challenge has a lot to do with making a decision here, okay? Making a decision in regards to something, but I feel like whatever this is, you're not clear on what you should do in regards to this decision, okay? So there's a lack of clarity here. Maybe you're not seeing something clearly, what have you. We're going to find out what that is when I clarify. Now, in the recent past, you have the tower reverse. You've got the moon and the nine of wands, okay? So what I'm getting from the recent past is that there was something that um, maybe was hidden from you, okay? Um, and I definitely feel like this, whatever this was, it was something that was painful. Like, I feel like you went through a lot with this. You had your guard up, you know, or you have your guard up because of this for a lot of you. I feel like you went through something that was difficult for you. Look at the picture. She's bandaged up, you know, her wands are on the floor. Her back is against the tree, um, which indicates to me in some way there was something here that may have caused you like surprise, you know, something caught you off guard. Okay. Um, and maybe it's something that you just didn't want to see. All right. You didn't want to see it with the tower reverse. Okay. But I feel like in some, we'll, we'll clarify before I get to going into detail. Now, in the present moment, you have the Four of Swords reversed. You've got the Six of Swords and the Chariot. In the present moment, I do feel like a lot of you are moving on from this situation, okay? You're moving on. You've made a decision to go towards something that you see more success with, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys are focused on your healing and, and just having some sort of forward movement. Now, in the near future, you have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you have a relationship here that's significant for you um, where you are taking some kind of action. You may be offering love here. Um, I see you in a significant relationship or having to make a choice in regards to whether or not you're going to get into higher level commitment. If something that you're... Um, some of you are making a choice about a relationship, offering love or accepting it, okay? We're going to see in just a moment. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages to see if we can get some clarity here. Tell me why the Two of Swords is the challenge for Virgo. Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here for Virgo? The Two of Swords is clarified by the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio energy, Three of Wands reversed, King of Wands, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. So a lot of you, what I'm getting from this, your challenge is to make a decision in the present moment, to let go of whatever you've been holding on to or waiting for, um, and to take some sort of action, get, clear, get very clear about what you want, all right? Um, cause I see a new beginning, you know, the death card reverse. I see something growing actually based on your own actions. Okay. But maybe you're undecided or there's some sort of indecisiveness regarding the situation. Let's go ahead and see why the tower is reversed here. Tell me why the tower is reversed in the recent past for Virgo. The tower is clarified by the six of swords at the bottom of the deck, five of wands, eight of pentacles, and the four of cups. A lot of you, what I feel like, there was a situation that wasn't working. It wasn't coming together. You were giving to this situation, but you felt maybe unappreciated, um, undervalued. A lot of you, somebody didn't see the blessing. And I feel like, or maybe there was something here that you just didn't see, um, because you were so focused on something else, all right? You, you might have been focused on what you wanted to see, and therefore you didn't see the bigger picture of the situation, right? I feel like a lot of you were focused on trying to keep something together, and there was a lot of things that were hidden in the process that 
you may have chosen, you know, may have chosen to ignore or may have ignored in some way. Some of you, you ignored the red flags in a situation. All right. But here's the thing. I do feel like, you know, with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck and then look at that right behind it, you have the tower in the upright. So I feel like um, whatever this was in the recent past, regardless if you chose to ignore it or not, and you tried to like rebuild the the situation and keep giving to it, I feel like it fell apart anyways. And you were forced maybe to move on. Let's see why the moon is here. Yep. The moon is clarified by the 10 of swords in reverse. The Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, and Judgment. A lot of you, what I'm getting from this is that a lot of you, um, there was something that was hidden from you and you made a judgment call the minute that you learned the truth, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you made a call to put yourself first, okay? And I feel like this is something that ultimately you, you're you comfortable with your decision because I feel like there was this need to protect yourself, okay? Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here for Virgo. And you have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Devil the queen of pentacles and queen of swords. Some of you guys, um, there may have been a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Aquarius Libra Gemini involved. Some of you were dealing with someone who had maybe some sort of addiction or there was something that you just felt bound to when it came to this situation. And I feel like there was a choice that had to be made. Someone here may have been left very bitter because of this you know, because of what you went through in this situation, it was too much of a burden. It was too much of a weight for you. So I feel like, um, a lot of you, um, you went through a lot because you carried a lot of weight in this situation. And I feel like there was something that, you know, uh, was revealed to you that allowed you to break free of this, you know, that allowed you to let go of the burden. So why is in the present moment, let's see why this four of swords is reversed. Four of swords reversed for Virgo. And the four of swords reversed is clarified by the four of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck, the magician justice in reverse and the hermit in reverse. Okay. There's something here that is out of balance. All right. Someone may have, um, for some of you, this may be you. Okay. Where you're not vibrating at your highest level of vibration. I feel like there was something that may have even been unfair that could have created or caused some sort of depression or sadness that you guys are focused on healing from. A lot of you, maybe it's some sort of lack of truth. Okay. I feel like you were trying to hold on to something that, you know, just was not meant for you. Okay. So in order to, to heal, you have to be willing to let go. You know, um, some of you, there was some kind of manipulation maybe that you're trying to recover from. Maybe somebody is trying to recover from some sort of manipulation done from you in the present moment. Let's see why the six of swords is here. The Six of Swords is clarified by the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. A lot of you have decided to move on, to take action, to, to leave something behind. Could have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like you were holding on to something that was holding you back from the life that you wanted to live, the life that you, you know, expect for yourself. And there's a piece of you that needed to make peace or needs to make peace with letting go so that you can have a better future for yourself. All right. 
Tell me why the chariot is here in the present moment. The chariot is clarified by the world in reverse, the nine of wands, the death card in reverse, and the page of pentacles in reverse. I feel like in the present moment, a lot of you guys are, you know, there is something that maybe you left behind, some sort of decision to walk away from something. But I feel like you have a choice that you have to make. Um... And I feel like things may seem a little bit unstable with this decision. You do have your guard up towards a new beginning. I feel like um, you may be stubbornly not wanting to make this change. I do feel like for a lot of you, there is something that you're going through that feels very like you feel helpless maybe in the situation. You feel like you're not getting what you want from it or doesn't necessarily feel good. You feel unsuccessful. I feel like for some of you, there was something that may have ended in your life and it just didn't end in a way that, that brought peace. But now you're having to choose the direction that you want to go in and make a choice um, on what it is that you're going to fight for. You know, what, what are you going to give your effort to? Okay, what's going to be worth it for you? Now, in the near future, you do have this um, Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So let's go ahead and see what this action is with the Queen of Wands. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here for Virgo. I love this. Okay, so bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Swords. You also have the Eight of Swords reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. A lot of you are breaking free from a situation that you were stuck in. You're getting over any sort of fear um, about being stuck. You're getting over any anxieties that you have, any pain or disappointments that you've struggled with, and you're taking action to move on and move forward um, with your life. Okay. Let's see why this Ace of Cups is here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Virgo. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the lovers, Gemini energy, the three of Pentacles reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the seven of swords in reverse. Some of you, maybe a Taurus or an Aries, Libra energy I'm seeing as well. So what I'm getting from this is that there is a new love or a new opportunity for something that feels very good, that feels abundant to you. Okay. Um, but it comes at a cost to let go of something that's no longer growing. All right. To move on from something and not allow fear to keep you stuck. All right. You have to make a choice. All right. Some of you, the choice is maybe between two people, you know, an ex and a new person, that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and see why this nine of pentacles is reversed. Why is the nine of pentacles reversed for Virgo? Wow. Totally full circle, guys. The nine of pentacles reversed is clarified by the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. The moon in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords in reverse. A lot of you are getting very, very clear about a relationship or situation that you want to move forward towards. That, you know, I feel like there is some responsibility that does come with this. Um, but you, you're gaining some kind of wisdom. You're offering yourself, you know, you're opening up emotionally. This has long-term attached to it. Something that it, that has longevity attached to it. I feel like um, you guys may be deciding to get into a higher level commitment to get engaged, get married, or, you know, make a decision. Um, some of you may have to do with children, but I feel like there's this decision that you're making 
to no longer allow a situation to hold you back and keep you stuck uh, anymore, right? So let's go ahead and see what else you need to know. And if you're interested in these decks, they are available on my website as well. What messages do you have for this sign of Virgo? Okay, so Virgo, again, there's something here that is no longer growing. Um, you're, I feel like your life is just not growing in that direction anymore. And I do... I do see you doing a lot of um, introspective thinking about this. All right. Um, what else? And you're breaking free of it. Look at that. You know, you're you're opening yourself up. I love it. You're opening yourself up to a brand new beginning. Okay. Um, I feel like you're opening up emotionally. All right. Some of you... This could have to do with a fire sign. Maybe you have, yeah, some of you left behind a fire sign, all right? Or there was a lot of anger. You could have walked away from something um, with resentment or something that you were resentful towards or someone that may have been resentful towards you. Yeah. A lot of you, you felt powerless in this situation, okay? Um, I feel like there definitely is a breakup here or like, letting go of a, a relationship that was significant, some sort of connection that you had that was significant for you. But you do have chemistry coming in um, with some significant change. You know, you're seeing things from a different perspective. Let's see. Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody here was maybe playing games. Could be you, could be your person or the person that you're thinking of. I feel like a lot of you guys, you may have opened up to this person and there was no stability when it came to this, all right? You you recognized that the stability was not there. Let me get one more. Yeah, this was not something that you could manifest, all right? Somebody may have had issues from childhood or um, may have had issues with a child or a parent uh, is what I'm getting, okay? And so I feel like you, in some ways, dodged a bullet, all right? Now, some of you, you feel powerless when it comes to your child, all right? Like you don't have any control, um, that kind of thing, all right? Now, your jumping card from the uh, advice deck is you are battling between what you know and what you feel. So this is your head and your heart literally at war. Like one minute, maybe you feel one way or you know that something is right, but your heart is, you know, your heart is in it. So it may be difficult for you to, um, to make a certain decision. Okay. But don't give up because anything is possible, you know, uh, and look at that. Don't make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. Make sure that you are making decisions based on rational thought, you know, that you've actually thought this out. Someone is hiding something. I feel like somebody may have hid something from you, but I also feel like that is revealed, all right, or getting revealed in December. And it's time for you to take a leap of faith. There's something here that you need to, you know, to just kind of jump out and trust the universe on. And I feel like you're going to make the right choice for yourself. All right. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I will see you on the other side in the extended version of this reading. Don't forget, forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. The link to the extended is in the description box below. I love you. I hope you're loving on yourselves. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.